Hi, this is Lori with Time to Be Creative. Today I'm going to work on my uh, Bootyful Toilet Paper Tube album. This is going to be a four page album for me. And uh, I'm just going to show you how I cover the toilet paper tubes. And um, we'll see how far we get. Uh, I don't want the video to be too long. I'm hoping to do a few short segments. Sometimes I get a little carried away. So I'm using uh, for my paper this uh, My Mind's Eye Sunshine. I have this in uh, 12 by 12 so I can use that for my cover. But I could really piece this together too. If, if this is all you have is a 6x6, six six, um, I'm sure you could make do. But I'm going to go with the gold tones um, for this. So... Um, my hub article, I've given you the list of supplies that you'll need, so once you have your supplies together, then you can get started. I mentioned in the article that not all toilet paper tubes are created equal. Uh, some are a little longer. Um, most of the ones I've worked with, I found they do measure the same in width, but in length they're... Um, different sizes. So for me these are just under four inches in length and they're two and a half inches wide and so I've flattened these the best that I can. Now I did run them through my uh, Big Shot. I'm sorry mine's called a Big Kick. I keep calling it a Big Shot but it's a machine like this and uh, I just put the tubes in between my plates this and then you just crank it through. Of course not everyone has access to one of these. So you can use your bone folder to really crease them. Uh, you could sit some a stack of books on them but you want to try to get them as flat as you can get them. And the reason for that is that when you go to glue them or attach them into your book you may have a hard time getting the, the glue to seal if it wants to keep popping open. So you really want them to get as thin as you can get them. Get them as flat as you can get them. Okay. So I have mine flattened. I have them all the same size. And you, so now I've measured my paper. I've picked out the, uh, I'm doing a four page book. And I picked out the paper that I'm going to use out of my pad going with all the golds and I've measured them four by six and then you want to score in a half an inch and then three and a quarter inches and then what we'll do is we'll glue that down okay so I have this one already scored this one I've scored so you want to make sure that your paper is up snug into the corner of your scoreboard. Now I, it's, un, it's uncomfortable for me being right handed to score a half inch over here. So I always do my half inch from this end. Now with this particular paper when I cut it, this one has some um, wording on the design of the paper. So I wanted to make sure I cut this correctly so that when I, I'm doing a vertical style book. So when I uh, wrap this, I'm gonna make sure my wording is going in the right direction. So make sure you're aware of that when you cut your paper, whether you're doing a horizontal or a vertical book, that your paper is uh, facing the right direction. So I'm gonna measure my half inch in from this side. And a gal by the name of Dawn Dawn Inspirations, I believe it is, on YouTube. She scores on both sides of her paper, uh, saying that it breaks the fibers down and you don't have too much uh, breakage or tearing. I think it mostly has to do with the quality of the paper that you use, but I'm giving it a go. Now I'm going to flip this around because then it's easier. So you want to score in from where you scored a half an inch. You want to come then in and score it three and a quarter. Make sure you don't press down too hard because you'll cut 
and tear your paper. All right. Now you want to make sure that you're going to crease these folds and use your bone folder. And crease your paper very well. Give that a good press. Now I'm going to use my tape gun, but you can use liquid glue, you can use score tape, although that's a little more expensive and I wouldn't use it here. I tend to be a little stingy with my score tape. Now the other thing too, and I've see, I've watched some videos uh, of gals making these. I um, they don't line the inside of their their tube, and, and I like to do that. So with my coordinating paper, like for this one, for instance, um, this paper pad is two sided, which is nice, double sided, and so I've cut some of my extra that I cut off the end here. And I'm just going to use this to line the inside of my toilet tube as well. I'll probably do that off camera. Just so when you're flipping through your book, you don't see that brown toilet tube. But that, that's, you know, that's your call. So now that we have those all folded, cut and folded, we're going to adhere them to the tube and so I think I'm going to use my quarter inch so you're going to run your tape you want to run a couple And then you want to press that down. And that covered it's covered very nicely. You just run a couple of strips. Make sure you um, take your time to line this up. This is a dark side here, so it's a little more difficult to see. But just want to get your um, tube in there as straight as you can get it. If you're new to scrapbooking, this is an, uh, an advanced tape glider gun, and it's really, it comes in handy. They have a, a variety of sizes. Now this paper, I think there is some writing on it. I have it going the wrong way. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to flip that. Although I really like that paper. If, you, if your paper cuts and you have a little bit of a rough edge, you can use an emery board to kind of smooth edge. Um, 
I think what I'll do is I'm going to recut that. So we're going to put that one aside because I really like that paper. Make sure once you put your paper down, you're going to give it a good press so that glue tape sticks well for you. All right, let me get my... I tend to be dys dyslexic when it comes to determining how I want to cut the paper. Sad to say, even though I'm aware of it. <clears throat> so I want my paper this way. So I need to cut this way. So I'm going to cut that at four inches. See if I can get it right this time. By six. That's how I want it. Okay. So now I'm going to score again at a half inch, doing it from the outside edge because it's easier. Making sure my paper is snug up against those edges so I score. Straight, and then I'm going to do three and a quarter inches both sides. Crease my folds. so small. There you go. It's that way. So that's the way I want it. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to add my tape. Seems like the quarter inch gun is a lot squeakier than the half inch. Right, so these are going to be the pages of our book. And they'll have uh, photo mats inserted. We'll work on the hinge off camera. I'm going to take my coordinating paper and I'm going to line the inside of my tubes. I tend to be a little anal about the, those things, so I'm going to do that. And I will also ink my edges. So I'm going to do all that off camera. When I come back, the next video will work on the hinge and add our pages. And uh, from there I think we'll do the photo mats and then we'll do the cover. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.